Skin the Hood, it's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. I've actually missed you guys so flipping much. I know it's been like kind of a long time since I've been on here. Your girl's been busy getting her life and other things, <laughs> but I'm back and I'm here to bring you guys some really fresh content. So welcome back to the channel. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to click on that subscribe button. We're a really happy family over here. And I mean, if you want to see my face <laughs> and maybe get some awesome life tips, then you should definitely subscribe. So you guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you all how to get my signature Afro with zero hair products. I know you guys are probably like, Girl, yeah, what do you mean zero hair products? Well, we're going to use natural plants and juices and berries <laughs> to get our hair to pop like these. It's really easy. So this is what my hair normally looks like. This is my afro, you guys. I'm just going to slide these pics in so you all can see them. They're just going to be right here. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, girl, how do you get your hair to look like that? Well, today I'm showing you, like I said, and I'm going to show you how to do it with zero hair products. This is great for any man or woman on a budget, anybody who really doesn't have time to buy any hair products, <laughs> or anybody who just wants to be super natural and not use hair products in their hair. Now, I ain't even finna lie, my hair is like super duper dirty, but there are times when I just need to wear it, and this is the best method for me. It at least allows my hair to be a bit refreshed without me having to wash it. So I like to do this even when I don't wash my hair. So you all, I have another video that details what kind of plants, juices, and berries you can use in your hair that are not actually traditional hair products. There I talk about aloe vera again, of course. I talk about bentonite clay, ACV, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want to check that out, it's right here. But I don't want to waste any more time. <laughs> and I want you guys to watch me make this perfect pro. So before I forget, you guys, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think I'm going to use in my hair before we start this video. <laughs> Share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much and stay tuned. So you all, this is what we need to make this happen. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna use is a brush. I like to use my little tangle teasing type brush. It's really great for gently coaxing the tangles out of my very kinky hair. You also need water because without H2O, of course you cannot manipulate your hair. The water will also help to re-moisturize the hair. Now, if your hair is super dirty like mine, you're definitely gonna need that tea tree. Tea tree oil is an antiseptic and antifungal essential oil that's really, really great for use on the scalp and the hair. It keeps the itchies at bay. <laughs> the key ingredient in this hair cocktail is the aloe vera gel. This is what's going to act as your leave-in and also set the style. You will also need some almond oil. Now, almond oil is going to be our sealing oil. You can use any other sealing oil that you really, really like, but for me, almond is my absolute favorite. Last but not least, you'll need some shea butter. Now, the shea butter is really thick and it's great for sealing our ends. Now our optional product is Baobab oil, which I actually got from Habilico, shout out to them. I'll show you guys their Instagram right here. Now they're a fantastic company that sells a ton of natural oils. I'm absolutely in love with the Baobab and I basically just used it to refresh my hair after it had been in twists for God knows how long. So everyone, these are the tools and ingredients you need to get this super popping afro. I'm going to take you through the entire process so let's begin in the field with the cutting of the aloe vera. We're gonna take it away and give this to Z Slaywin so that she can take us through exactly what's going on. Okay, Z, you can take it from here. I'm so sorry about that. Please, let's move a little closer to one another. Hello, everybody. Z Slaywin here, and today we're in the wilderness of Abuja, Nigeria, to observe the natural Hericus garaticus picking aloe vera in her natural habitats. <laughs> Wait. 
What's that? Crikey! I'm receiving information that she's now on the move. Let's catch up with her and have a look. So, as you can see, the Naturalis Heracus Garaticus is on the move. Here we see her gently approaching the aloe vera plant with tool in hand. Let's see what she does next. Okay, so she's removing a leaf. And now it looks like she's entering her den in order to begin the next step within this process. Here we see another member of her clan gently pruning the aloe vera. As you can see, she's first removing the spiky sides. And then it looks like she's gently slicing the aloe vera into little rectangles. Now she's taking it a step further by slicing each rectangle in half. This is exposing the very rich and nutritious gel within the aloe vera plant. Ah, what a sight to behold indeed. Fresh aloe vera. So everyone, that was a really engaging moment with Zee Slaylin. <laughs> Let's move on to the rest of the process. So now that the aloe vera is primed and ready, it's time for me to get to doing my hair. Because I had just released it from cornrows, it was actually already twisted. And I'm the kind of person I really like to just keep my hair in a stretch state so that it doesn't tangle up. Now that's a pro tip for you all. If you absolutely want to be sure that your hair doesn't tangle, keep it nice and stretched. So the first thing I did was, I put my hair up in a little like ponytail thing. Now normally I would use clips, butterfly clips, or duckbill clips, but either they got lost or they got stolen. I really have no idea. So here I am managing with some hair ties. Just make sure that they're the Auschwitz hair ties, you guys, so you're not pulling out your hair if you're using them. Now the next thing I do is I undo the twist. I spray it down with my water and tea tree oil mixture. Make sure that it's fairly saturated, not like super soaking wet, but pretty wet. I mean, for me, I had not washed my hair in about a week to two weeks, so it needed the moisture. I made sure to get it pretty damp. If you're low porosity like me, be sure that you use warm water. Warm closer to hot, now not scalding hot because you know you're not trying to damage your hair. But if you want your cuticles to actually open up and take in the aloe vera, you need to be sure that you're using water that is nice and toasty. Now the next thing is to take that aloe vera, I just take the little cut piece and I apply the side with the gel to my hair. I just like squeeze it in, squeeze it in as much as I can, getting it all over my scalp and all through my hair. Now it's really okay to get this on your scalp because it's not going to clog your pores or cause any irritation. Aloe vera is actually known to alleviate any kind of irritation or ailment. It's a really, really, really important and ancient healing plant. So I love putting it on my scalp as well as my hair. After I applied the aloe vera very liberally, I got my trusty, lusty, tangled, teasing brush and I started from the ends and gently, very, very gently coaxed the tangles out of my hair. Now this is super important. Again, if you're like me and your hair is super nasty, dirty, gross and dry, then you want to be very gentle and take your time. This part not only detangles your hair, but it allows the aloe vera to seep in to each strand really, really well. It distributes the product very nicely. Following that, I took my trusty, rusty almond oil. I put some in my hand and I applied it throughout the length of that hair. Now this is super important. Aloe vera is great and all, but you wanna make sure that you're sealing in all that moisture. Now the aloe vera naturally has a fairly low pH, so it's great at closing the cuticle but I want my hair to stay moist for longer, so I'm going to use my oil. Following that, I twisted up the hair and then I applied my shea butter right before I completed twisting of the ends. Now this is super duper important. I don't apply it after I finish twisting the ends. I apply it during the twisting process. That way it gets on all the strands. I don't want to miss any strand because see, I'm trying to avoid all the splits in the world, you guys. And this is exactly what the shea butter does. Aside from being nice and heavy to keep the moisture in the ends, it also weighs the ends down 
so that they don't get tangled or develop single strand knots. Now that you all have seen exactly how I do it, I'm going to go through the process a bit quickly so you all can see me go through the motions a few more times. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm just taking down my hair, dampening it. And now I'm adding the aloe vera very liberally. Now as I was doing this, I realized that this is super duper moisturizing for my hair and I was loving every bit of it. Brushing it through even was really, really easy because it naturally closes the cuticle of the hair since the pH is a bit low. There's another piece, kind of long, you know, hair's growing, babes are thriving out here in these streets or whatever. And now I'm just brushing through the aloe vera that was just applied. As you guys can see, it's also defining my curls as I'm going along. Though I'm brushing out my hair, you can see my curls are kind of popping. So here's another shot. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my length again. And then here's my curl pattern. Now a lot of people like to argue and be like, Oh, you're not 4A, you're 4C, oh, you're not 4C, you're 4B. But like, whatever the case may be, I'm type 4, so all y'all need to calm down. Like, it's really not that deep. <laughs> And now here's my hair all twisted up. And then this is like a little impromptu fake length check. As you can see, my hair is pretty much mid back. Video loading soon. Ta-da, we're all finished. My hair is completely twisted up. We've used the aloe vera, it's really moisturized, and it's well on its way to being a fantastic afro. So ideally, I would just leave this in overnight and my hair would be a poppin' for the next day. <laughs> I wasn't able to film though for like a good week and a half. So I left my twist in probably for a week and a half. But this is the nighttime routine I use to ensure that my hair is super poppin' and very well prepped for the fro. So we're quickly gonna cut to me putting on my pajamas and getting ready for bed. 8.01 p.m. So here we are getting ready for bed and as you can see my clothing is putting itself on me. Now when it comes to wearing twists, my nighttime routine is extremely simple. I usually just pile them on top of my head and put on a scarf. Following that, I go to sleep. So now that we've done all of that, I'm going to show you guys my takedown process. I would show you the whole thing, but it's not really necessary because I have a video showing you all exactly how I fluff my hair. I'm going to link that right here. Just like put it in another window, that way you guys can refer to it when it's time to actually, you know, do that. <laughs> but basically, this is what happens during the takedown. So as you can see, my twists are looking kind of crusty. This is where I grab my Baobab oil from Humbilico, that beautiful heavenly oil, and I distribute it throughout my twist. Now I don't use very much, I use like a few drops, and it just kind of refreshes them, makes them a bit more malleable, gives them some nice shine. So when I take down my hair, it looks really, really bouncy. Now, as you can see, I start from the ends. Now I flopped initially and started from like maybe an inch or two inches up from the ends and my hair started trying to tangle. I quickly had to remedy that. Thank God for that Baobab oil. It made my hair slippery enough to actually remove that tangle. But look, you guys, you don't want to be like me and be a flop and start from close to the ends, you need to start at the very end so that your hair doesn't tangle. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm starting from the end and I'm ensuring that I very gently unravel the twist. Now when I get to a certain point, I can actually just kind of unravel it very quickly. If I pull at the bottom, the whole thing will kind of come apart, but you want to be very gentle at the ends. So after I unleash all my twists, I fluff my hair. You guys can pause this video and go check that video out right now. <laughs> It'll just let you know exactly what I do. So following the fluffing, here is how my hair is looking. It looks really fantastic. Obviously a lot of bounce, a lot of life. And my fro is really, really flawless. So you all, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my signature fro and this is exactly how you can get your hair to look like this 
in a very, very consistent way. Now, whenever I do this method, my hair comes out looking like this or variations of it. I finally mastered a consistent way to have a really pop in fro with very little stress and very little steps. So again, I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know what products you guys use below that are not hair products. Let me know if you enjoyed this fro tutorial. Let me know how you guys achieve your own afro. I mean, I'm very open to learning from you all. Obviously, I don't know everything. <laughs> this is an open forum, an open discussion. I just wanted to share with you guys my way, and I hope that this helps. Thank you guys once again for watching. Please don't forget to do the four simple things I always ask you to do. Be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. And if you guys like this style, you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. I enjoyed filming this video for you all, and I'm excited to bring you all more really fun content. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think of my hair. Again, let me know what kinds of products you guys use in your hair that are not actually hair products. So if you use cranberry juice in your hair, let me know. I like to drink it, but hey. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to my channel and join this beautiful family. Thank you all so much. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.